All right, hello, and welcome to another retrospective video like the Mario one I made earlier this month. This one on me <clears throat> and my interest in video games, how it began and <clears throat> expanded. Well, of course, lately I do a lot of watching Twitch streams. It always seems like I'm the oldest one on that in that chat room. I mean, not that I mind, you know, how do they say you're only as old as you feel? And in fact, the only reason I even bring that up is to kind of lead into one of the... So many times in those chats, either the person doing the stream or other people in the chat room are always talking about how such and such is their favorite game because of childhood nostalgia. And every time I'm sitting there thinking, what childhood nostalgia? Man, I was born too early for video game nostalgia based on childhood. When I was a kid, having been born in late 1971, what were video games when I was a kid? The Magnavox Odyssey released in 72, the Atari 2600. Which did have some, some okay games for it, but... I didn't even get into that until much later. At the time, when it was new, it was just a bit too expensive. Not that we were poor or anything, but mother wasn't willing to shell out that kind of money for a video game console yet, so... No. My interest in games remotely began fall, autumn 1982, as then 10-year-old me began his 5th grade school year. That October, where we lived, a small little arcade opened for business. The first arcade cabinet machine it had was Pac-Man. Yeah. So yeah, every so often, after school or on weekends, I'd go there and play some Pac-Man. Problem was, A, you always had to go to the arcade, and B, you had to have a quarter. Or like, what were you going to do, just stand there in front of the machine and act like you were playing? Yeah, that wasn't too fun, so... So yeah, I mean, yeah, there was the Atari 2600 port of Pac-Man, but historically that was a joke. Most people know that by now. So. Anyways. <coughs> so yeah, at that point, my interest in video games was just, eh. You know, I'll play them if I can, but if not, you know, I'm not going to be too upset that I don't get to. So when the video game crash of 1983 happened, I wasn't too devastated or too heartbroken. You know, come 1984, the cartoon Voltron came out, and yeah, that was pretty much the remainder of my childhood, early teen years. To this day, still my favorite animated cartoon series of all time. <clears throat> then, of course, by then, teenager, and my attention turns towards girls. <laughs> No more need said on that subject than that needs to be said on that subject than that, but yeah, you get the idea. Video games, yeah, who cares? More important things in life, you know? Yeah. Until Until that is Christmas nineteen eighty seven. When one of my relatives got us an NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, as a family gift. It was intended for the whole family, but out of me, my younger brothers, and my and our mother, I was the first one to really get interested in it. As we got what was called the Bundle Package, which came with the NES itself, two controllers, the Light Gun Zapper, and the Mario Brothers Duck Hunt Combo Cart. Duck Hunt was okay, except for... If you miss both ducks in a round, that stupid dog would jump out from the weeds and laugh his ass off at you. Made you want to shoot the damn dog. Yeah. But yeah. But Super Mario Brothers. 
that was the game that really restored my interest in video games. Which is why I why I did the retrospective on the Mario series before any of the other franchises I like. <laughs> Personal importance. Played that game so many times throughout the first few months of 1988. Slowly getting into other NES games. Castlevania, Kid Icarus, Ghosts and Goblins. But, the more games I played, the more one word kept creeping up. Linearity. Always the same. Same at same level, same order, same enemy, same progression, same, same, same. Every time you play the game. Which, by spring 1988, was beginning to become an annoyance. Yeah. Seriously jeopardizing my interest in video games. I used to joke with friends. If I want something that's going to be the same every time, I'll watch movies or read a book. When I play a video game, I'd like to be able to do something a little different each time I play it. Yeah. A few days later, that same friend comes around with copies of a game he had just recently purchased. Which will bring me to the next video, the next personal perspective. So yeah, this one is rather short, as there really isn't much to say as far as early video game for me, there wasn't much, having been born at a time when video games really weren't all that big yet. Yeah. Of course, the next video, well, more about that when I get there. I don't want to... Anyways, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Sorry for the really short video here, but I'll make up for that on the next one. Trust me. The next retrospective video. Yeah, I'll have a lot to say there. See you then. And again, thanks for watching, and bye.